In this session we're going to talk about trigger deactivations. And it's important to know that a trigger does not try forever if there's some problem that occurs during uh, the polling, for example. If you have an email trigger, it will not retry forever. You have certain retry settings on failure, but when it finally fails, um, the last retry has failed, then it will be deactivated. So uh, one common uh, thing that uh, users want is to get notified when this happens. And the best way to do that is to uh, create a job uh, that will use the Vichycron trigger type. So I'm adding this one here and if we go to this one we can uh, uh, scroll down to triggers and we have trigger deleted or inactivated or just inactivated. In this case we just, uh, or we can say inactivated by error. So we check this one and we press OK. So right now this job will trigger for each time a, uh, a trigger deactivates. And since uh, we have an example of using um, the email uh, trigger that fails. Maybe, ne ne maybe not the best choice is to use an email to notify us if, if, uh, if there is a problem with email itself. So we suggest that you use an alternate task like for example the push bullet task to notify directly on your device when it happens and it could be your computer, it could be uh, your cell phone. Uh, push bullet is great for notifying you directly to your device. So in this case, we have a task here that is called, uh, let's see, we have uh, messaging and we have send message. And let's say we have created a push bullet account before and uh, it's free, this service. Uh, you can use this uh, trigger expired here. And what is interesting is that you can use variables to tell you why it failed and uh, some other information. So I'm going to show you how you find this information. So you click on variables here and uh, we go to the Vichycron Vich node and we have active job, we have triggers, we have the last trigger that failed and uh, let's scroll down here and we have, we can see, we can see the, the job name if we want to include that. Uh, but uh, in this case we have something called a verbose message and this one contains uh, change to active here to have an easier to read and general working uh, uh, variable. So this message contains uh, all the details about which trigger and why it was failing. So I'm copying this to clipboard, I'm pasting this here and I'm just pressing OK here to uh, save it. Well, I need to select the contact if I use push bullets. So uh, I can try this here. And I press OK and um, I click OK here. I need to set the job name as well. So uh, trigger deactivated. So this is a short session how to use uh, the Vichycron trigger to to manually send you, uh, to automatically send you a message when uh, a trigger has been deactivated, independent on what kind of trigger it is. Thank you.